right guys, so here's a little shovel nose sturgeon I caught. I'm gonna go ahead and release them. These guys get pretty active in the spring. They kind of migrate around in the Missouri River. But I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. You gotta be really careful handling them because there's a lot of these spines on his back and those things are razor sharp and they'll cut your hand right open. So I suggest using gloves or if you don't, grip them by the mouth because they don't have teeth. They just kind of have a sucker. But uh, caught him on some worms with a small little hook. I'll go ahead and let the guy go. And there he goes. Hopefully we get some more. Guys, we got a second hook up on the same pole as the last. My rod got a little tangled here, but all right. Second hook up on the same pole on worm. I just about got him in here. We tired him out a little bit. Didn't try to net him. I think it's a sturgeon. Oh yeah, it's a sturgeon. Shovel a sturgeon. So we caught some different species today. Caught that big uh, buffalo carp and now we got a nice little sturgeon. These guys you have to be careful of because they have uh, very sharp spines. They can cut you pretty bad. Um, these are really sharp on the back of there. They even got some spikes up here, but uh, and he's got a little leech there, but that's a nice little sturgeon. I'm gonna go ahead and release him and uh, hopefully we catch some more fish. All right, we finally got our first catch of the night. A nice shovel nose sturgeon. Oh, probably 18, 20 inches long. Good catch, we're gonna go ahead and net him here. Um, probably, we'll just go ahead and release this guy. Hopefully we get some bigger catfish later tonight. It's about nine o'clock. All right guys, we have the second sturgeon of the night. They're really starting to bite. Hopefully we get some other than sturgeon tonight though. I'm gonna go ahead. You have to be pretty careful when with dealing with sturgeon. You can see they just kind of have a sucker for a mouth. I have him turned over on his side right now because he has a lot of very sharp scales on the front side. And you can see we're just using worms and about a size one hook. And there we go. Got the worms out. 